Hey guys, uh, welcome to Approach the Nerd. I saw that they had released the new Resident Evil 2021 movie, Welcome to Raccoon City, based off a video game. And I was very curious to see what it was like. So we're going to pop this trailer in right now, pop it in, and see what uh, is going on in the world of Resident Evil. So here we go. Oh. That's true. So this is taking place in 1998. <laughs> Robbie M. Ellis, Chris. They're going to do bad things. Oh, some of these are straight out of the game. That's crazy. That's from the game. So I see that the word run of the line run is said a lot in this version. Um, all right. So I'm, I'm going to be real here. This the, the filming quality of, of this entire trailer makes me think that Asylum, the Asylum did this. If you don't know who the Asylum is, Asylum has done the Sharknado. They've done Z Nation. They do very B-rated versions of popular movies where they just change like the name, like example, Pacific Rim is Atlantic Rim. Uh, Transformers is Transmorphers. It seems to be like that quality of filmmaking, whereas they don't have a budget. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like even the CG doesn't look that good to me in this. So I don't know. Um, I'm glad to see that Robbie Amell is getting work. So he is playing Chris Redfield. Um, the girl playing Claire Redfield, I didn't look up her name. She looks okay. I'm assuming that um, the first girl who yells run is supposed to be Jill Valentine. I don't know for sure. Um, but this is set in 1998. So in game, um, in form, as far as the game plot, this is basically uh, revolving around Spencer, Man like Spencer Mansion because that's where they are. Um. <sighs> I'm going to keep an open mind. I love the zombie, you know, genre. Um, so I, it's not like, a, it's not like I'm not going to see this. It's just that right now, if we're going by what I just saw in the trailer, it literally looks like another asylum movie. So I'm not that impressed right now, but again, that could change once I actually see the entire movie. I try not to judge things just based on their trailer. Um, but if I were, then yeah, this would not be the best telling of a resident evil movie so but that's just my opinion um i mean honestly when we first saw the, the very first resident evil movie with mila jovovich who was you know again loved the movie but if you looked at her as alice and then saw the entire setup of resident evil you were just like what the hell so i don't want to judge this prematurely just say it's going to be bad because i can't say that but i'm just a little worried based on the filming quality and the fact that for a movie of this scope, you would think that they would have a bigger budget, but 
That's just my opinion, guys. I want to know what you think. So please leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you would like to sign up for jury duty, hit the subscribe button. If you like news next to nerd belt, with the notification bell. Until next time, I can't wait for you to approach the nerd. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. But hey, the party doesn't have to stop now. Click on one of these videos and keep it going.